Hi everyone, I'm Katia Uriarte here with your Chris 6 News update for this Tuesday, November 20th. Good morning. Still no sign today of a man wanted for robbing a bank. This is the man CCPD officers are looking for. They say he robbed the Plains Capital Bank on Port Avenue just before noon yesterday. He reportedly walked into the bank, strolled over to a teller and demanded money. Now, if you had a good look at the suspect and maybe you know who he is or you have any information about the robbery, here he is again. Take a look at him. Any information that can help police, you are encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 888-TIPS. Starting Thursday, you'll see extra CCPD officers out on the street. CCPD Holiday Initiative increases the DWI enforcement all throughout the city, and it's also aimed at reducing the amount of crime that we tend to see go up during the holidays. In fact, you're going to see officers on bicycles, Enduro motorcycles, and ATVs, as well as extra officers on the roads. Just because you don't see us does not mean we're not there. Beware, we'll be looking for you. <laughs> Again, the 2018 holiday initiative starts Thanksgiving and it ends Christmas Day. And speaking of Thanksgiving, if you're thinking of volunteering for the holidays, the Joe Salem folks welcome you with open arms. This is the 75th year for this annual event. It started by Mr. Joe Salem. Volunteers get there early to prepare the food that feeds hundreds of folks that show up for a warm Thanksgiving feast that includes turkey legs and a nice helping of sides and desserts. Volunteers also help to decorate the venue and the tables. So if you would like to help out, show up at 1030 Thanksgiving morning, or you can call the two numbers that are there on your screen for more information. The meal is free for anyone that's interested in having a free Thanksgiving feast. Volunteers, by the way, will start serving at noon. And let's get a quick check of the weather now from meteorologist McClovio Perez. Hi, Mac. Well, thank you, Katya. We're looking for a little bit of sun today, but it's not completely over with. By tomorrow, we may pick up more cloud cover and a better chance for rain. What's happening is the cloud deck is thick thinning out. It's dropping farther south, but tomorrow, uh, being Wednesday, this system and the, the cloud deck sort of thickens up again. In fact, we'll probably have enough for a pretty steady rain most of the day Wednesday. But the good news is then by Thursday, we start slowly warming up and clearing out. For those of you, um, you know, headed outdoors or driving, just remember today we'll go partly cloudy for the afternoon hours. Wednesday, pretty good shot at rain, but it's light rain, no severe weather, anything like that. On Thursday, I'm going to call it 65, morning clouds and then afternoon sun. And then Friday for shopping day, we get up to 72. Nice weather, uh, pretty good weather for Saturday as well, getting up to 76. Next front is not till Sunday night, but we won't feel it until Monday of next week. Your seven-day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. Katya, back to you. All right, Mac, thank you for that. And just want to say I won't get a chance to see you until Monday because I'm headed out to spend Thanksgiving with my family. So please have a very happy and a safe Thanksgiving and a great holiday. By the way, make sure to stay up to date with the very latest news, weather and sports on Chris 6 at noon, 5, 6 and 10. And of course, all of our social medias. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time.